Hey, welcome back to the Big Ranch Show. Thank you for joining me. Now, if you've been watching news as of late, especially right-wing news, you would seem to think that mi military action and war in Iran is a great idea. Not only is it being pushed by the right-wing media, it's also being pushed by these fat, out-of-shape people who seem to think they could go serve in the military. Have you seen the memes? Here's my thing. If you think you can serve in the military, do you think war with Iran is so great, why don't you take your fat ass down to the recruiting station and enlist? And if you're if you're too out of shape or you're too old for military age, guess what? How about you pack your your 17, 18 year old kids into their into your car on Monday morning and run them down to the recruiter so they get the paperwork started so they can enlist the moment they're 18 or send them off right now. I mean, after all, we're gonna need them ready for a war with Iran, right? But here's my list of three reasons we should not have war with Iran. Reason number one, Iran is not Iraq. Iraq had no technology when we rolled in. We rolled in in 2003. They still had technologies from the early 80s. Most of it had been destroyed in the, mid, in the early 90s. And throughout the 90s, different bombing raids we had done. And look at the mess Iraq turned out to be. You think Iran's going to be better when they have more technology? You really want to start a greater conflict with Iran, who now was, could be within six months of a nuclear weapon because of us pulling out of the Iran deal? Do you really think it's just going to be a walk in the park? There's a reason Iran has been around for as long as it has been. It's not an easy place to take over. That's the reason back in the 80s we listed them as a state sponsor of terror, but we haven't done shit about it. Because it would create just another quagmire. That's all it would do. Have we finished a war? Have we actually finished a war? Let's see. We ended the first Gulf War only to go back in 2003 and do it again. We went to Afghanistan because Osama bin Laden. An action I actually supported. But look what it turned into. We killed Osama bin Laden back in 2011 and our asses are still there in Afghanistan. That's what's going to happen in Iran. Except it's going to cost us ten to 15,000 American lives. Minimum. That's not talking about the terrorist attacks that will take place within the United States. Killing civilians. Reason number two that we should not go to war with Iran. Is Iran has friends when Iraq had none. There was nobody that was going to come to the defense of the Iraqis when we invaded. They had no friends. Thing is, Iran has friends in the region. Iran has friends just outside the region from major national players on a global stage. China and Russia. Russia hates us, so you really think they're just going to let you walk in and roll over a country that has oil? No. Do you think China is going to give up their oil so they can start paying Americans for oil? No. You're going to create a greater conflict, a possible global war conflict here. That is why the UK is calling for calm and calling for de-escalations from both sides. When we're the only side that escalated it. In reason number three. Reason number three for no war with Iran, we can't afford it. I keep being told we can't afford to do better for our, our, our veterans. We can't afford to do better for the disabled, the poor, the elderly. If we can't take care of them, then why are we sending these people to war? We can't afford to take care of more veterans coming home from more wars. 
If we can't afford to take care of the veterans when they return, take care of PTSD and other physical and actual and physical damage? If these people can't just walk into any hospital and the government take care of their needs? Then we can't afford it. If we can't afford to take care of grandma down, down the road and let her have as many food stamps as she needs or whatever she needs taken care of with Medicare, then we can't afford our troops going to war. In a country where we have kids starving at lunchtime over a dollar twenty-five for lunch, we cannot afford war. In a country where a family of four ends up putting their kids to bed starving because food stamps only last them two weeks, even though they're working, we cannot afford war. If we cannot afford to take care of our people here, we cannot afford to be going over there. If we cannot afford people illegally crossing the border, occasionally, a lot lower rates than what they have been in the past, then we can't afford to go to war. Because if we go to war in Iran, we're going to have to rebuild that sucker. Because what happens if you go to a country and you bombard it and then you leave it there? That's right. It becomes a haven for terrorism. That's what happened with Afghanistan because our, because Russia and the U.S. fought and we both, both sides pulled out leaving nothing but garbage and the Taliban took over. Thus, we got 9-11. Thank you very much, people. And as a side note, we didn't do a very good job with Iraq. We're still there, and they're still being bombarded by insurgent forces. Not just from Iran. But anyhow, those are my three reasons why we should not have war with Iran. You want to support the troops? Say no to war with Iran. Have a great day, and I'll see you down the road.